Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for visiting. I hope you've had a great weekend. Sorry for being missing in action for so long. We had some family things um, come up that needed some attention. So um, I have a little time this evening though and wanted to catch up with you guys. So let me share a card that I got in the mail. Uh, this is from my friend Carol D. And I thought this was so cute. I love the little die cuts that she's used here. Especially I love the little snail. So, and there's some, um, looks like copper foiling up there. So pretty. And then she left me a sweet note inside. And then the back of the card looks like this. So this must've been a kit. So very, very cute. And then the um, little stamp that she used here on the front. That's so sweet. Little acorn. So thank you for that, Carol. And then uh, this morning I had a little bit of time and really was procrastinating, something that needed to be done today. So I thought I would sit down and stamp out this image from Stamp um, uh, Stamp Peddler or the Peddler's Pack. Their shop is on Etsy, stamppeddler.etsy.com. And so I thought I would stamp him out. I thought he was really cute and he was um, something I needed this morning. So <laughs> I stamped him on watercolor paper and painted him. That's the results of being watercolor painted. And then if you see on the sign here where it says Happy Harvest and on his buttons and on his smile, I did add some clear jelly roll. And so it gave those little areas some um, sparkle. And I used a white jelly roll pen on his eyes and on the patches here um, just to bring back some of the white um, in those designs. So that is the image watercolor painted. And then I also stamped the image on some Bristol vellum cardstock and colored it with alcohol markers and then added additional detail with colored pencil. And so that's how this image turned out. And again, I used the clear jelly roll pen. You can see it on the buttons and the sign. And I think that's it on this one. Um, oh, the rope. Um, so I used the clear on those areas and then on the eyes and the patches again, I used the white jelly roll pen and they are these pens so the jelly roll white is in a size 10 that I used and the clear glaze doesn't have a size but uh, this one is the clear ink <coughs> so that is the two images which one do you prefer there they are side by side do you like the watercolored image or the one that was colored with alcohol markers with pencil detail I can't decide. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Watercolor or color pencil and alcohol markers? I like different things about each one. But I think overall, my favorite is the watercolor. Although I really like the pumpkins on the color pencil and I really like his overalls. Uh, <laughs> you'll have to let me know what you think. Watercolored or color pencil? And the color pencil one also has an alcohol marker underneath as a base. So that's those cuties. And then I also got a package in the mail from my friend Kat. So I thought I would open it with you. I've opened the box, but I haven't opened anything inside yet. So there's a card on top. Let's take a look. That's cute. I love these colors. Look how fun this is. This, I bet this is Stampin' Up! Um, products. Such fun colors. I love this card, Cat. Thank you. Oh, she left it blank on the inside. <laughs> and then let's see, here's her note. Let's see. <laughs> oh. She says it is a belated birthday gift. Okay. And she says a bunch of other things too, but I'll keep those to myself. But so thank you, Cat. Let's take a look and see what she sent. Let's see. Oh, this says open last. Okay. So we'll open that one last. Oh my God, there's something fuzzy in here. <laughs> I can barely see in the box. Uh, but there's something fuzzy. <laughs> oh, so cute. Look, and he's a cute little fuzzy chicken. Oh my word. Oh, cute. It's a, like a silky. Oh, I don't have any roosters either. So this is like my only rooster now. 
He's adorable, cat. Thank you so much. I'll take him to see my mom. I bet she will like him. <laughs> His little tail. <laughs> so cute. Let's see. Oh, wow. There is a huge notebook in here. Look at that. Wow, wow. This is huge. It's like 9, nine by 12, maybe? Oh, nice journal. Oh, this will be fun. Thank you, cat. Ooh, I know exactly what I'm going to use this for, too. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. 80 sheets. I know exactly what I'm going to use this for. So thank you so much, cat. Perfect timing. And let's see what else is in here. There's a couple more things. I'm going to set my notebook off to the side here. Oh, no. And let's see what else is in here. Okay, so there's this one. And this one. And she's got everything wrapped so beautifully. And we must not forget the open last one. Some tissue or a bubble wrap I'll get to reuse. Let's see. Do I have notes on these two? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what they say. This one says... Something rusty and crusty to put buttons in. Yes, I made the flower. Oh, look at all this seam binding I get. Yay. Rusty and crusty. It sounds perfect. <laughs> oh. I'm going to get some scissors here. My chicken is helping. <laughs> figure out how to get in here. I bet this is the top. Yeah, you didn't have to send me anything. <laughs> but I'm so glad you did. He's adorbs. I'll have to name him. <laughs> I'll send you a picture, Cat, when I take him to see my mom. Okay, this was something rusty and crusty to put buttons in, and yes, she made the flower. So let's take a look. Ooh, rusty and crusty is right. I love it. How fun is that? Oh, jelly glass. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. Ooh. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, it is a big flower with those fun, rusty jingles. The word joy. Oh, I love this cat. This is so cute. I'm going to put a hanger on it and make it a little ornament here for my um, the door of my hutch here in my room. So cute. Oh, I love it. Thank you, cat. How cute is that? And a red eyelet. Oh, oh I love that. I'm going to stick it right down inside there. Be safe. Be safe. Oh, thank you, cat. I love that. And then this one has a note as well. And this one says, something silly I found in my adventures this past summer. <laughs> okay. Look at, oh, there's a cute little hanky here. And beautiful seam binding. I love this, like a cornflower blue color. It matches the little hanky. How cute is that? She says it's something silly she found in her travels. <laughs> oh. Oh, how cute. Chicken blocks. How cute is that? Oh, so you can probably put them together and make a little scene. Oh, cute. 
All right, let's see. The rooster struts. Let's see if we can find the rooster. There's the rooster. Nope. Nope. Oh, maybe it's this way. There we go. <laughs> nope, that's not it either. But that's him. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to have to put these together. Oh, maybe there's... Oh no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to have to spend some time and put this together. <laughs> so cute, cat. All right, I can waste a lot of time doing this. How cute is this? There's some chicken in the rain. Out in the barn in a nest of hay, six warm eggs are tucked away with five little pecks and five little picks. Five crack open. <laughs> That's so cute. It must just be like part of a children's book that they've collaged onto these blocks. How cute is that? Maybe then it's not a scene at all. They're just pictures of chickens. <laughs> So I would spend, you know, a good hour trying to piece them all together <laughs> when really they don't actually go together. Oh, how cute is this, though? I love the one, the chicken butt. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here's the, here's the chicken with the butt running in the rain. Okay, there's that girl. See, we can do this. <laughs> All right, I'll spend some time. I'll spend some time fiddling with this. Make sure I get it done right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so cute. Thank you, cat. This is clearly going to be enjoyed. <laughs> and I love this little hanky too. I'll use that in my purse. So, thank you for that sweet thing. And then let's see the thing that says open last is this package so it says open last and more wonderful seam binding so open this very carefully Especially since she made it, I'm assuming it's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, I'm, since it's in plastic, I'm going to open this off to the side so it's not quite so loud. It's our bunny, Mr. Rivers. Look at him. You can't, I don't think you can, you're going to be able to see him very well. Oh my gosh, cat. He is adorable. Look at his sweet little face. He's got a tag on that says stay magical. Oh my gosh. He's got a fun party hat. Look at his ears. We have a black and white rabbit, and his name is Mr. Rivers. <laughs> and Cat knows that. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. I'm not sure Mr. Rivers wears glasses, but now that you put glasses on him, I bet he does. I bet he would. <laughs> so cute, Cat. Oh my word, look at his cute little eyes tucked in there. And he's quite dressed for the season. Oh my gosh, cat. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And he's on a bed spring. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, thank you so much, cat. Stay magical. You can see it. And it's sparkly. So cute. Oh, he is going on the mantle right now. Toot sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute, cat. Mr. Rivers, you never looked so good. Right now, he's probably a mud muddy mess because it's been raining. Oh, how cute. Thank you so much, cat. 
This is adorable. <laughs> adorable. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, girl. Too much. I love that he has wires in his ears so you can bend him down. Oh, look at that. So cute. So cute, cat. Oh, you guys. Too much fun. Too much fun. Thank you, cat. I hope you all enjoyed opening my gift with me and uh, seeing what Kat sent to me. I'm going to sit here and see if I can get these blocks together in a row of three instead of just two. <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.